I remember my first rope escape. No, you don't. <laughs> Wait. It's Max Major, and this is episode 146 of the vlog. Right now, I am standing in the rotunda of the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia. Right behind me, giant statue of Benjamin Franklin. This is the home of Think Again for the weekend. I woke up this morning to an incredible email. We are literally about 10 tickets away from sold out tonight and three tickets away from a sellout tomorrow. In response to demand, we've added two matinees, one today and tomorrow at three o'clock. This is going to be an incredible weekend. So I have a radio interview here in about 10 minutes, which is good uh, because I've got a show at 3 p.m. today that literally just went on sale. We've got to move 200 tickets in the course of just a couple hours with zero advertising. Give me an example of how how you read body language. Okay, uh, well perhaps I could just try something with you. Okay. Okay. Um, think of, did you have a pet when you were a kid? I did have a pet. Think of the name of that pet. You have it in your head? Mm -hmm. Don't say it out loud, don't move your lips. Spell it in your mind one time. Good, uh, it's about six letters. I'm trying to watch your eyes as I'm doing this. We all do this when we spell. We kind of nod our head from letter to letter or our eyes jump. And as you did this, I, I got around six letters. Is that about right? Focus on the first letter of the name. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it a G name? Is it a G? Yeah. Was it something like Golden or Goldie? What was the name of your pet? Goldie. Got it! <laughs> found him. Hey, thank you. How's it going? Good. Atone for your sins, young man. That's the Vatican made out of Legos. Okay, so here's the situation. We are about an hour and 15 minutes from our 3 p.m. matinee. We have sold exactly 15 tickets. There are about 3,000 people upstairs. So that means they just don't know about the show yet. So I've got my trusty rope. I've got my trusty Derek. I'm gonna go get tied up in the lobby. Man, that took a lot out of me. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> So that was good. Uh, I don't know how many of them actually went and bought tickets, but we will find out very soon. Show starts in about 30 minutes. So this is our backstage area, kind of in a hallway here outside of the theater. They've opened the house for the matinee. There's about 27 people. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Always. <laughs> oh yeah. It'll be a nice warm up. It'll be sort of a rehearsal for the show later tonight. So fired up that one, sold out. Show was a success. Uh, small crowd, but a lot of fun. Gave us a chance to work some of the kinks out, go over some of the audio and lighting cues. Um, really pumped for tonight. We are completely sold out. Uh, I think almost 250 people fit in this theater. Uh, it's going to be jam packed, great energy, kicking off 8 o'clock. Can't wait. So it's about 6.45 right now. Show doesn't start till 8, but from what I hear, there's already a massive crowd outside. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just doing our final checks here. I've got to power down. I will see you after the show. Ready to kill it? Let's do it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did a great job, Derek Jasper. Thank What'd you, you think? Major. Oh, it went really well. One of the best. Yeah, I mean, all I'm, time. I'm one of the best I'm still think again, standing after doing after reading people and doing all that stuff, and after the rope escape, I have no idea how I'm standing right now. <laughs>